Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Recreating. So today I'm reviewing another knockoff of SH Figure Arts. Uh, this one came imported straight from China. So I'm taking a little bit more precaution. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right guys, so uh, this package came straight from China and uh, I'm not trying to get any coronavirus, so uh, let's take care of a virus before we get this sucker open. Let's carefully dip it into some, uh, some uh, holy water. Run, 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 run! All right guys, so now that the outside's completely sanitized, uh, let's go ahead and open it and then sanitize the inside. I'll slowly open it. Uh, uh, <laughs> just like open this sucker up. I hope a ball of like green stuff doesn't pop up like in The Simpsons when they predicted the coronavirus. Looks like the inside's okay. And up. Let's, let's uh, dispose of this over here. So now you know who it is that we're gonna be uh, reviewing. It is uh, a copy or a mock or um, a clone of the SH Figure Arts Manjin Boo from the outside. He looks pretty freaking good. The only thing I could pick uh pick out right away is the color uh the color on this dude is a lot pinker than the original one like a light light pink than the original sh figure arts but other than that he looks pretty good it looks kind of like rubbery fake but let's 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 sanitize him first and then we're gonna open them let's take some sanitizer squeeze that sucker on there Let's give this guy a little wipe down. No coronavirus today. I don't want no coronavirus today. 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 I don't want coronavirus. I don't want coronavirus. <laughs> Anyways, all right, so let's open him up and let's check out the goods inside and then By the way, what side do you guys open your SH figure with? Is it this side or the side where the, with the you know, clear sides? Uh, I, for some reason, I don't know why, I always open them this way. I don't know why. It, it just, it just happens. So let's pull this sucker out of the package and burn that other package. And packaging, of course, has tape all around because you don't want the pieces to get loose. And I'm going to cut. Let's get this one open. Let's get this one open. Bring him right up. All right, you know what? I'm going to sanitize each individual part by itself. And then I'll come back and I'll review the figure. All right, guys. So here he is out of the box. And wow, he is freaking incredible for $20. Really? For $20 hairs, this is what you get. Crazy, crazy good knockoff, man. This is a really, really good knockoff. Just like the one, uh, there is some minor little things that um, kind of throw it off. But uh, if you guys saw my other video uh, of the knockoff of uh, Broly, uh, super power broly or full power broly uh that was a really good knockoff too for 20 bucks was that, that that's a steal man and then this dude really good <laughs> this, i gotta say man this guy he looks pretty freaking good the only difference um is well there's a lot of difference and i'll point that out right now but one thing that really stands out is the color of him and i'll, I'll do a comparison side by side comparison a little bit but uh, this guy from from what I remember the other guy looking this guy's a little bit lighter 
uh, a few tones lighter than the original one but other than that i mean wow <laughs> for 20 dollars you get a really good figure um if you guys don't want to spend the money on the sh figure arts I, I say you guys go this way uh with the whole coronavirus thing going on i don't know if you guys if you guys can even get these anymore uh i'm glad i i i, I ordered it a, uh, this thing i ordered a long time ago three months ago actually it didn't show up till a month ago and i didn't open it till a month after which is today and i just opened it in front of you guys um yeah it took a, a, a long time it, it, i think it was when the coronavirus first started in china is what i believe so they were still sending stuff out um i think it was like the chinese new year when i ordered this dude uh that's why the the seller was saying something about oh i have any i don't have anybody to you know send my package out to because it's chinese new year and it, it'll be a chinese new year for i don't know a week or something and he couldn't he couldn't ship it out for a whole week and then after a week he made another another excuse saying that he can ship it out for the coronavirus or someone something like that i get my timeline messed up but uh, that's the whole point is that I got this guy a, I ordered it a long long time ago and I received it a long uh, mo a month and a half after or even two months after and then uh, and then I didn't open it till you know a month after so yeah it, it's, it's been a while it's been in the package for a while so hopefully the coronavirus died uh, even after all that sanitizing thing that I did <laughs> in the video I'm just joke. it was a joke relax relax it was just a joke uh but anyways um let's get into the figure uh so as far as articulation uh like all the other figures all the other knockoffs uh they don't have the butterfly wings or the i always call them butterfly wings butterfly shoulders they doesn't have the butterfly shoulders but it still goes pretty far you know forward like that so it's pretty pretty decent movement right there you could go do you know the crumpet i think that's what they call it crumpet anyways uh so as far as the bend forward this kind of hinders a little bit uh on the other one it looks a lot different it looks like this is over um the midsection a little bit too much you guys see that it sticks out a little bit too much there and too much there so it's it looks a little awkward but it it's it's okay it's okay it's not bad as far as articulation he bends this or he moves that way he moves that way uh it's got a whole rotation here it goes up that much it goes down that much he's got a little ball joint looks like a little ball peg that moves all over the place so that's pretty that's that's pretty nifty i gotta say it did, and it doesn't look bad it doesn't look bad at all right no it doesn't look bad at all right so uh as far as the head it goes up uh when i did take it out of the package I did also that I didn't notice that I'm not sure if the original one has this, but you guys could see a little dent there inside here. Sorry about the paint on my fingers. I know my fingers are all painted because I was painting earlier, but uh, I was working on the small soldier figures. Anyways, um, so yeah, there's like a little dent. I'm not sure if the original one has that, but we'll compare it in a little bit. But uh, articulation, it goes back that much. It goes forward that much. Um, he kicks that that far he has a double jointed knee which is pretty cool it's, it looks the same as the original one to me it looks exactly the same as the original one except for this part and it's kind it's a little loose you guys could see that it's a little loose but it's not bad and then the, the tippy toes of course go up and they're always super hard to bend at first but once you get them out there you could start bending them forward and then there's somewhat of a swivel there a uh, little movement of the foot there um and yeah the arms yeah the hands what the heck this hand doesn't move it's just stuck oh there we go <laughs> it was completely stuck at first so yeah it goes a whole rotation and it falls off of course uh but i mean that's that's the articulation for this dude i mean he's it's pretty it's a decent figure i gotta say this is a really really decent figure it's the same thing as uh, uh the superpower broly um 
I, honestly, I gotta say, you guys have to pick this guy up if you don't want to pay that extra money for the original SS Trigger. These guys are really worth it. I, I gotta say, they're worth the money. Twenty bucks for this guy shipped. Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. That means that uh, I don't know how much money it took to you know uh, ship it from China to here. I don't know how that works, but uh, whatever it cost it, whatever that that cost was. Is added into whatever this guy uh, the value was so $20 complete like that's it $20 of course you know eBay charges you you know the 10% of uh, uh, taxes for some strange reason uh, honestly guys I don't like eBay I, I hate hate eBay for that reason is that they charge you to buy something and then they charge you to sell something they charge you 10% of whatever you sell they charge you 10%, 10% of whatever you sell. It's ridiculous. And then they charge the, the buyer another 10% for buying something. It's like, come on, man, eBay, seriously? Uh, I remember back in the day, I don't think it used to be like that. But anyways, he's pretty, pretty damn good. I, I remember what I was telling you guys that this top part is a little bit over the midsection. So if you guys could see that. You guys can see it's a little bit over too much, I think. So I think the midsection is a little bit too small, so uh, it goes over a lot. But uh, we'll compare it to the original one. Um, actually, you know what? Before we get into uh, comparing it to the original one, uh, let's check out the accessories that it has. Um, it does have um, two extra faces. Well, technically three. That's one thing that I figured out too when I was taking them out of the box. The, the head is pretty dang loose, so um, got to pull that. You gotta hold down the neck part in order to take out the head, and that's the angry face, the pouting face. You can tell the paint isn't all that great. Uh, on the original one, also this face, you guys can see the paint isn't all that great either. There's a lot of sloppiness around there, and then the eyeball. Uh, was painted a little bit lower than it was supposed to be on this side too. It also comes with this yelling face, which is one of everybody's favorite, I guess it was. Uh, mine was uh, this face on the original one. I like this face a lot better than the yelling face, but they're all pretty good. Um, it comes with the same hands as the original one. Open palm, point to finger, and the fist, the come here finger. Come here, little sucker. I'm gonna punch you out. Like I said, guys, don't mind my fingers. They're all painted and uh, full of plastic <laughs> from doing the other figures. But anyways, doing custom figures, they're all messed up, but don't mind that. And it also comes with the boo head. The extra boo head, which is cool because I'm gonna turn this guy into something else, which is pretty awesome. And then it also comes with a little effect for boo. So if you guys are missing your little effect, there's an extra one. Okay, now it's comparison time. So uh, this guy is kind of the same color, actually. Now that I look at them together, they're uh, pretty similar. The only difference is that this guy is a matte finish. And this guy has a little shine to him. So, uh, yeah, that's the, that's the only difference. You guys can see the belt buckles are a little bit different on um, the color. Um, well, yeah, other than that, I mean... It, Pants, the cords are going to be exactly the same. Uh, the shoes, exactly the same. But this guy is taller. If you guys put him back to back, you guys can see that he's quite a bit taller than the original. Or, or the original one is quite a bit taller than this guy, and it's from the torso down. If you guys look at it in comparison like this, you guys can see that the, that the back of his butt and his lower back it's a little bit higher than this guy's. This guy's a little bit higher than this guy's. Um, and it, it, this guy looks a little bit thinner as well. This guy has uh, a little bit thicker body than this dude. Um, I don't know why is that. It's weird because it looks like they just, you know, copied this guy right from the... They just made a replica of this dude and they just, you know, made this guy. <laughs> but anyways, this guy has the butterfly shoulders like I was talking about. This guy does not, but his his articulation is pretty good still. And uh, you guys could see here, this is what I was talking about, that this part is a lot 
you know bigger than the midsection and this is not it fits like perfectly on there and uh, you can note it on the front as well you guys can see that it fits perfectly around this rib section here and this guy it's a lot there's a big old gap in this rib section there so that's the difference too and the faces of course the sh figure is going to be painted a lot better so if you guys can see the eyeballs are painted exactly where they're supposed to go and the mouth is a really really good paint to it and you guys see this guy a lot a lot different the eyeballs are a little bit lower than we're supposed to be and the painting isn't all that great in the mouth but other than that there's there's not that much difference i mean of course everything in here is not loose everything on the original ones is like nice and tight uh, you can change the head pretty well. Uh, the neck's pretty good. You can see a lot further back on this guy than you can on this dude. That's all he goes and this as far back as he goes. And also down. You could articulate a lot better than this guy. But, I mean, for $20, guys, uh, it, it it's pretty good. I mean, if you don't want to spend the, I think he's $70 right now. If you don't want to spend the $70 on this dude, go for this guy. $20, it's worth it. Spending the $20 on this guy if you guys don't want to go expensive and uh, do the original one. But the original one is better. <laughs> it's a lot better. It feels better. It articulates better. The joints are a lot tighter. Um, it, it just all around looks better. But this isn't bad. It's not bad at all. So if you guys want to go this route, I, I suggest you guys go this route if you guys don't want to spend a lot of money. But like I said, since the whole coronavirus thing is going on right now, uh, I don't know if you're going to be able to even order this guy right now from China. Because this guy came straight from China. So um, so yeah, so I don't know if you guys are going to be able to order this dude. I am going to change him into Evil Boo, which is the Grave Boo. People are calling this dude Evil Boo. He's not Evil Boo. This is regular Boo. Evil Boo is when he turns gray. Uh, that's when he comes out of the original fat boo and he's evil boo so uh, this is what he's gonna be transformed into so the next time you see this guy he's gonna be evil boo uh, I, I don't know if I'm gonna show the whole process of how I make him I'm gonna make the torso a lot taller so he could be hovering over this dude because the original evil boo is taller than this guy uh, slightly taller but he is taller um, the evil boo is a lot taller or slight taller I should say um so yeah so the next time you guys see this dude he's gonna be evil boo but anyways guys that's gonna wrap it up uh my battery's about to die so hopefully i don't it don't die before i say goodbye but thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this little um uh figure review of a knockout figure of uh manjin boo uh thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate it if you like it please don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe because if you guys do guess what you guys will see me on the next one peace